Hi right, guys, another video for the TS708. Uh, this time we're going to be working or we're going to be scanning um, Citroën C4. This is a 2005 model. Okay, and uh, TS708 is connected already. So we're just going to select Citroën, and I will show you right from the beginning. Right, so the first screen is a new session, obviously. Now we want a C4. This is the normal C4. The saloon. So it brings you the VIN code, the engine code, chassis number, body, code C. Press OK. Now, as always, you have the control unit, <coughs> which gives you um, all the available control units you can go through. Uh, as you know from my previous videos, I do not do these videos using this uh, this type of scan. We always do an auto scan, but just to show you, so this is all the possible ECUs. Uh, you have a oil reset, uh, possibly to reset the service, obviously. So there we go, reset maintenance indicator. The maintenance indicator is not on, so just to show you what I can do. So what we always do is an auto scan. Uh, that will just scan the wall car and it will bring up only the ECUs that are, that are actually fitted onto this car. So as always, I'm gonna skip this because sometimes it takes longer and makes the videos a little bit too longer. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip this. Right, the auto scan is finished now. Uh, it found 14 ECUs, and uh, as we always do, we're gonna go on the first one, and uh, we're gonna skip, like I've been doing on my last on my last videos. We're gonna skip all the all the first um, options, like uh, you see information doesn't matter, read codes, erase codes. We're going to go straight into live data. This is the BSI, uh, is the body control unit basically. Uh, Citroën call it uh, body systems interface. So on live data you have uh, you actually have these uh, sections. So for the live data you have live data for supply, air conditioning information and driving passenger and safety and I do apologize guys there's 12 of them I'm not gonna go through all these because otherwise we'll be here forever but I'm gonna show you for example if you want to go for an uh, engine uh, immobilizer for example that's gonna show you all the information all the live data related to the uh, immobilizer so number of remotes number of keys programmed and you know transponder label recognized yes so BC, BSI ready for programming? No, because it's programmed to the car ready. So, and when you go to all these other subsections, we'll show information related to these subsections. To be fair with you, this is very similar to uh, Lexia, the original uh, Citroën diagnosis. Uh, so now we are under actuators. You have actuators for air conditioning. And that's what you can activate. Lightning. That's all you can activate. Locking. instrumentation and LEDs this is probably this is, is okay uh, doors 
probably for the windows, uh, elevators up and down and all that. There we go. And visibility. There we go. This is the actuators. Maintenance. BSE, BSI uh, operating, operating mode. Reset maintenance indicator is the only thing you can do really. Now law. Programming. There's actually some programming functions. Why? Right. If this works, you can actually do key programming. Which is very good. Is it 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 will probably gonna ask you for the security code. But if you have the security code, uh you should be able to do uh, key programming which is very good so that was the BSI uh, right so uh, I do apologize I've been interrupted uh, so let's gonna go then uh, to uh, instrument panel I skip the first ones, live data, control panel configuration. So that will show you how the panel is configured. Switch status, which will show you some sort of. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll just switch status. Let's go back, back, actuators. So, it's speedometer, fuel level gauge. So this is just to activate the different LEDs and uh, lights and so radio. So live data. So we'll show you the VIN code, radio configuration. I will show you how it's configured. A few live data for the let me check something here see if it's possible to do something on here but I don't think you will correct code so it will not allow you uh, the way the, the 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 these radios are coded to the car is through the VIN number so basically if you take a radio from another car and you put it here because the VIN number is not going to match with the BSI the radio will work but it will keep I think it keeps turning itself off or it beeps every couple of seconds and the weight to code the car, the radio to the car again is just changing the VIN number on the radio, but the DS seven hundred eight cannot do that. So So actuators. Steering wheel. Live data. Most of the ECU, so controls behind the steering wheel, controls on the steering wheel. So the the controls behind is the, the stalkers and all that. Uh, the ones on the steering wheel is the ones right here. Let's go back. Actuators. Warning. LEDs. Let's go back. Driver's door. Live data. Activators.
Oh, I'm gonna skip the passage door because it's gonna be the same. I'll go straight to the rev counter, which is that screen over there. It's for live data. Configuration of the live data, so petrol standard, back button. So most of these uh, settings, they can probably be adjusted using uh, Lexia, uh, but you can't do it with the DS708. So activators, the red counter display, so there, we get, there is everything. You can activate on here. Airbags. Let's see, front airbags live data. It's going to probably show you the how it's configured and and all that. Then loading. Uh, this is probably to update the software and unlocking. I'm not going to touch that. I'm not 100% sure what that is for, but it should be to unlock the airbags because usually you can lock. The ECU and then unlock the ECU. When you lock the ECU, the ECU will never trigger any of the airbags, doesn't matter what. Uh, then you can unlock the ECU again. But I'm not going to touch it just in case something goes wrong. So, multifunction screen, so live data. Uh, so, on, on these cars, Peugeot and Citroën, most of the live data is under sections. So you see you have a little bit of live data here, then you come back, you have display controls, more live data in there, so and go and so forth. Um, actuators, elimination of the screen, extinguish of the screen. This, that's it. It's going to go to engine ECU. So live data. Once again, the live data is going to be there. It is so I've show you. So I haven't show you this. Yeah. So under fuel injection and ignition, you have some live data here. And if you come back, air inlet, you're gonna have some more live data where you're gonna have pro probably the flow meter and all that. It's actually not here. So there, so all the other ones. So actuators. So this is what you can activate. Uh, initialize auto adaptives. This is pro is to reset uh, the learn values of the ECU. I'm not going to do that, obviously. Trailer relay unit. And actuators. There we go. Engine relay unit. Mm. Only actuators. Air conditioning, lighting, visibility. That's it. Anti lock brake system. There's a question mark here. Let's gonna see why is a question mark. Uh, it's just because it doesn't know which one is fitted here. To be honest with you, I don't know as well. Um, 
I don't think the car is fitted with the ESP, so uh, we have a beep, so I think that's the one. Yep, yeah, this is the ABS 8.1, so live data. Dynamic information, let's gonna go just have a quick look, for example. Uh, hopefully it will show you like, uh, yeah, wheel speeds and, and all that. So there it is. Back. Actuators, it's probably will allow you to, yeah. So electro valves, uh, inlet electro valves. Replacement parts, bleeding to bleed the brakes. Back and the last one power steering, just live data for the power steering. Details of the electric pump unit, and you have some live data here. Uh, some question marks probably they are not applicable to this uh, ECU but that's it guys it's, it's a long video already um, I must say there's some good um, scanning functions I mean it, it, it was able to read every single ECU which is good um, not not so special functions as, as a such you can't do nothing really special um, uh, you know, the only thing I, I, I could see really was the service um, service reset. You had the reset of the learned values on the engine ECU. Um, and pretty much that was it. Uh, so, um, it's a scanner. Scans the car, which is good. There's no special functions for this car. Uh, but... There we go. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and uh, if you have any questions, once again, put them below. And thank you. Thank you for watching.